let me spell this out for you, for those who need it. The battle in the world, in all governments, it's against Judeo-Christianity. Which means that we're 70 short years away from the Holocaust. And as a little boy, <clears throat> excuse me, I was born in 54. As a little boy, I remember seeing those films and thinking, man, how bad. And then getting older and seeing it and being like everybody else, never again, never again could you allow something like this. But here we are on the verge of it again. And the truth of it is, the Christians that believe that the people in Israel, the Jews, are still God's people. You're in trouble. They're going to kill you right along with the Jews if God allows them. Because you're a troublemaker. You're standing in the way. You're standing up and speaking. Say, wait, 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 wait. See, America was built on Judeo-Christianity. It wasn't built on Christianity. It wasn't built on Judaism. It was built on both. That's what Jesus came to do to make, make them one new man. <clears throat> the Jew and Gentile together. And that's why this country prospered like it did. But now, you got to realize <clears throat> that all these churches, white and black, divesting from Israel because they're cowards, they're lost, they're greedy. They are the enemy. They will kill you, Christian who believes what the Bible says about the nation of Israel and the Jewish people. These people going to these other churches, they will kill you, as the Bible says, believing they are doing the will of God. They're such cowards and they're lost. They don't believe what is written. To save their own necks, they will kill you, believing they're doing the will of God. Catholics, Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterians, Lutherans, and on and on and on and on and on. And in every one of those denominations, Christian denominations, you have born again people who know. To leave the Jews alone, God's got an appointed time for them. Keep your hands off of them. He loves them. But now you're going to be considered one of them. This is what the battle is. You can tell how somebody, if you know how, quote, a Christian feels about the Jewish people, you're going to know about that person. You're going to know if they'll take your life. If they don't like the Jews, if they come up with all these crazy lies that the people in Israel are not really Jews, they will kill you. Because they have an anti-Christ, ungodly spirit. This is the battle. Be concerned and understand about ISIS and all these people coming in and the door that's being opened. But you better be concerned about all these people that say, I'm a Christian. And they hate the Jews. And they're such cowards. They'll go along with Islam or anybody else that wants to slaughter and do the Jews. Because they don't get it. Our book is Jew. Our Savior is Jew.
our salvation is Jew. Salvation is of the Jews. Jesus said 90% of churches in America today, churches, are fighting and hate the Jews. I'm sorry I wasn't raised there. I'll never go there because I know what's written. And so the Bible talks about people talk about, you know, the lost tribes and this and that, where the Jews at and what happened out of Babylon and out of out of Syria and all these and all of these issues. And he who is Jew is not a Jew in the flesh and all these different things that come up about knowing who Jews are that don't know that they're Jews. But I'm going to tell you right now. If you can see through the darkness and understand who the nation of Israel and the Jewish people are, and you can understand the lies that's going on, you've been made one new man. You are a Jew in your heart because you have accepted. You are a soldier of God, and you understand what the Word of God says. God has enlightened you. The Word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. Instead of killing the Jews, you will help the Jews because you are one of them. Jesus is Lord.